The boy gently stroked the monster's palm. The creature's dull fur instantly became brightly colored. It held out its hand to the boy and asked the boy to sit on it. As the boy sat day on his palm, the monster carefully picked up the boy and waved its wings into the sky. In the blink of an eye, the monster and the boy have lived here for six years. The monster flew with the boy every day. The monster and the boy lived a carefree life. But one day, a group of lumberjacks entered the forest. They discovered the monster and took the boy by force. Taken to the city, Peter was very upset. He wanted to escape the city and go back to the forest. His foster mom Grace promised to take him back. Peter stopped trying to escape. At night Peter told Grace about the monster. But they didn't know that the monster was right outside their window. After seeing Peter and Grace's happy family, the monster went back to the cave set. But when Grace saw Peter's painting, she was stunned. Because when she was a little girl, her father had always told her about monsters. And there were legends of monsters in the town. She told her dad about Peter and the monster. But her father was calm. It turned out that he had seen a monster in the forest when he was young. He was terrified. But just as he raised his shotgun to shoot, the monster disappeared in a flash. Since then, Dad told everyone about the monster, but no one believed him. The next day, Grace took Papa and Peter into the forest. Peter led them to his cave with the monster, but Peter's story bulk was thrown to the ground. And in an instant, he had a bad feeling. He rushed into the cave to find his best friend. A monster appeared behind the boy, but instead of attacking the people in front of him, instead it nodded its head in greeting. The girl found the courage to touch the monster. But just then, a needle was lodged in the creature's body. Grace tried to stop the lumberjacks, but they kept shooting at the monster. They climbed a tree and wrapped their arms around the creature's neck. The creature tried to break free, but as soon as it got into the air it lost its strength. It fell right out of the sky. Peter stroked the monster in pain. The monster took one look at Peter and passed out. And then, the lumberjacks took the monster away. To you stain Peter couldn't trust anyone, including Grace's family who adopted him. He thought Grace was working with the lumberjacks. But Grace and her father kept trying to convince the lumberjacks to let the monster go. Just then the monster woke up. Peter heard it wailing in agony. He couldn't understand why these people were doing this to him. He was willing to live in the forest with the monster forever if they would just let him go. While the lumberjacks dealt with the arriving sheriff, Peter and the girl seeked into the barn. Grace saw them but she didn't stop them. When the lumberjacks entered the barn they realized the monster was gone. They were furious they thought it had flown away. But only Grace knew it was still there. It was just invisible. She pretended not to see it and closed the door. Just then the truck burst out of the warehouse. When the lumberjacks saw the monster was still on board they rushed after it. Grace took the boss's keys and tossed them aside. To give the monster time to escape. And it was Grace's father who was driving the truck. He didn't want the monster to be held captive by humans. But no matter how they tried to escape. The lumberjacks and the police were always right behind them. Monster strains to stand up in truck. Trying to fly away from the humans but it only flapped its wings once and fell back down again. The lumberjacks pulled in front of the truck. They tried to force the truck to stop, but instead of stopping the old man, accelerates and crashes into it. By now the drug has worn off. The monster has regained its strength, seeing that there are still humans chasing after it. The monster is completely enraged. It flew to the bridge. The bridge is crumbling with its breath. Peter anxiously climbed up to the bridge. He told the monster not to hurt them. The monster hears Peter's words and stops spitting fire. But then Grace's car was about to fall off the bridge. In the nick of time the monster stopped the car from falling. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief. But just then, the bridge suddenly broke. The monster and the two people in the car fell together. Peter ran to the edge of the cliff and shouted down. Hoping for a miracle. As they watched in anticipation, the monster broke through the sky. A mister and a mistress Grace were on top of the monster. At this point even the lumberjacks chasing the monster were thanking it. They landed safely. Peter rushes over to embrace his old friend. But just then several helicopters appeared in the sky. The monster realizes the danger. It wants to take Peter with it. Peter didn't hesitate to climb aboard. Grace tried to stop Peter from leaving. But the monster took Peter straight up into the sky. Peter looked at his kind foster mother with reluctance. But he had to make a choice. After returning to their former cave. Peter realizes it's not safe here anymore. The humans will come back. Though the monsters can be invisible Peter can't. The only choice left. Peter had no choice but to leave the monster alone. They embraced in the forest for a long time. When Grace and her family returned home with a heavy heart, they were surprised to find Peter back. Separation had led to reunion. Grace was so happy she hugged Peter tightly. Peter decided to join the family and start a new life. And the dragon wasn't far away. Not far from Peter he also started his new life. 